And of course, just as I'm making progress, guess what? It's raining again. Third time today. So I'm getting the uh, rest of the sheet metal cut to finish the roof part right here. Uh, I've got the shower framed in over here. Oh, over there, shower over there. The toilet over here is framed in. Uh, there'll be a little closet over here uh, where uh, the air line comes in so that that's where the air pump will be. Like I said, the washer and dryer will be on this side. Uh, the sink washer right here and the water heater will go right up against this wall right here. That's uh, it's a gas on demand water heater. So and which works great. Uh, a bottle of gas he actually used every day uh, last couple months easily. And uh, but we don't we don't use it every day. And uh, so not hot water anyways except to wash dishes, so that's not gonna be anything. All right, uh, so I'm gonna take a break and uh, wait for the rain to stop again. Thanks. <laughs> for another storm to blow in. It's pretty cool clouds though. You can hear the thunder in the distance. And that's the direction the storms usually come from. The good storm. Bad storms come from the south. So anyways, this is where we got to right now. I'm missing one more piece of Calamina right up here. To finish up that one section right there, I'll put a whole piece up there. Uh, other than that, the roof is on. Uh, the shower is framed. The toilet is framed. The sink is installed. The grease trap is installed. Uh, I put it back piece up for where I can hook up a faucet. Uh, again, a back piece up over there for the shower head and you got the hot water heater right there. I've got the washer and the dryer put up here. That plumbing will come in later and electrical will come in later after I got two more walls. I got a wall to put right here in the front and another wall right here in the front. And that will leave a doorway uh, to get into uh, the toilet area, the toilet laundry and the water area. And there goes the dragonflies. And as you can tell, the, the dogs go a little crazy with the thunder. And dogs look crazy anyways. Hope it's the boss. At least she's, she thinks she's the boss. yard all cut got to cut more road up I got to finish it down here and the 
dogs are doing their morning business. I'm gonna trim some of the old banana trees. That one's died off after having its bananas. Got new bananas up here. And good morning, Mr. Rooster. Yep. And the chickies. You're over there somewhere. I hear you. I'm looking for breakfast. Anyways. Fresh air. Normal peace and quiet in the Amazon. Bedtime, come on, Suki, let's go. Come on, go. Come on, bed, let's go. Inside, go. Come on, inside. So, I've got uh, this week to finish up things around here, get them uh, squared away. Let me uh, give you a quick update on, on where we're at. Let me switch off here. Okay, so, our, our, Super outhouse is ready. Almost ready. Almost ready. It's not quite finished yet. So, uh, yeah, I've got a sink. I got a sink full of dishes. I got a clean dogs' pots, uh, some shelves. Um, this uh, water line over here. Right now, I've got a temporary water line because the fittings they use is plastic and it broke. So I gotta get a new new water line for that because this, this can run hot water. So we've got a water heater, which would be gas-fed water heater, a water system coming in and going to the shower. I do have a leak up here in the shower knob terror control now. So I do have to uh, take the panel off outside and fix that. Uh, but other than that, the shower does work. Uh, I'm going to use foam along the ins or outside of the bottom of the, of the corrugated metal. Right now there's no problem. Everything goes inside. Nothing gets wet on the outside. So shower. There will be a curtain inside here, obviously. The toilet, uh, roomy, spacious, so I can put extra storage in here, put the toilet bowl right there. That's the, the outhouse uh, can. So the toilet will sit right there. Water line will come in. It will actually go in through the wall over here and outside, which will get up to that. There is the first air pump. We'll get a second air pump that goes to the septic tanks right there. The electricity comes across from a solar shed. 
uh, to the washer, washer and dryer here, uh, which are connected. We'll show you that outside. Now this is a great little item right here. All right, this was uh, 200 soles, which is about uh, 50 bucks. Okay, about 50 bucks. It's got a, a, a solar panel up on the roof. It's got this great light. It's got a radio, things like that. But uh, the nice thing is, it's an independent light system. Does not need to connect to my. I got four lights connected to it. Um, doesn't need to connect to my solar power system, so I don't have to run any extra wires. Uh, it's got its own battery inside. Charges up every day. Runs about seven hours for these LED lights in here. So, which is more than enough because we don't use it that much at night. Um, I've got to put a door on the toilet still. Um, our grease trap is in. I'm going to cover this. I've got some corrugated metal that will fit over that, so I'm going to cover that. Uh, but the grease trap is there, which you clean it out uh, every couple of months. should be fine. Now then, our water system. Let's, uh, let's go around this way. I had to move the storage tent down here, by the way, also. Yes, ghost, I know. So, rainwater collection off of this building. Lucky, get your, Lucky, get your head on the other side of the fence. Get over there. There's our big ones. So rainwater goes in to this tank. This tank. I'm talking right now. You be quiet. Yes. So rainwater goes into this tank. I have to put a fitting in. This is going to be where the, the water supply for the washing machine goes. It's kind of bright in the sunshine. It's all metal, but we've got, uh, and I'm probably going to put some kind of screening over the front. Uh, I'll probably put a top frame across up here. At least where I don't hit my head. And then we'll, we'll uh, frame that in with a uh, mosquito net also, and maybe a mosquito net uh, door. Other than that, this part is pretty much ready to go. It's kind of overkill outhouse, but um, I kind of needed to do that. My wife's condition, she uh, uh, has some issues, and this will help her uh, feel more calm while we're being constructed. Because we still have about a year to go. Clear skies today, beautiful outside, but uh, there's some bananas up there. So once those bananas are ripened, I'm gonna cut down this banana tree right here, probably. So hopefully in about, uh, this is what, May, June, July, August, uh, August or September, depends on the weather, we're going to break ground and begin our construction over there. Solar panels are working great. Great sunshine lately. Uh, chickens love their house. And today's big project, uh, cleaning up my tool shed. I've got to clean up the tool shed. Uh, tool shed and kitchen organization today. So uh, stay tuned and I'll keep you up to date on what's going on. But uh, piping on that, I still have to go to the hardware store to get up some connectors. Thanks.